In this video, I'll show you how to deploy Spring Boot app to Azure. So we're going to use GitHub Actions for CI CD pipeline. So when we push code to GitHub, it will build the code and then that code will get deployed to Azure automatically. Let's get started. First, we will go to the Azure portal. We will log in using our credentials. Then we're going to go to menu. We're going to do create a resource and we're going to select the web app. So this is Azure's platform as a service and we're going to utilize that for our deployment. So for resource group, we can create a new resource. Let's call it spring app demo. And then let's name this also spring app demo. Next, we're asked to uh, select a runtime stack. Uh, the highest Java version is Java 17, so we're just going to utilize that. And then for the web server stack, we use the embedded because Spring Boot has the Tomcat server already embedded for the uh, jar. So in here, we can utilize a website called Azure Speed Test to figure out which the best region for us is. So you're going to try to find the one that has the lowest latency. In my case, West US has the lowest latency followed by West US 3. So I'm just going to use West US. So next, we have to select the Linux plan. We can create a new app service plan, call it Spring App Demo. Then we select the pricing tier. We're just going to stick with the free tier. Next, we'll do the review and create. Everything looks good and hit create. Now the deployment is in progress. Once the deployment is completed, we should be able to go to the URL created by the Azure portal. And we should see if everything went correctly, this landing page. Hey, Java developers. Now we're ready to start creating the project which will get deployed to Azure. So let's generate a Spring Boot project using start.spring.io. I'll select a Maven project. You could use uh, Gradle or Gradle Groovy, whichever you prefer. So let's just call it Spring App and the artifact as Azure Demo. And then for the Java version, make sure to select the same Java version you put on the Azure portal. So in my case, it's Java 17. And add the dependency Spring Web in order to have the REST controller. We're going to extract the project and then let's open this project in IntelliJ. The project is located in downloads and we could select the palm.xml to open the project in IntelliJ. Now we're going to create a simple basic REST controller. So let's create a package for the controllers. Uh, we can just right click on the project, new package, and let's call this the controller package. And let's create a basic home controller. So this is Spring Boot, so we can annotate this class with at rest controller. And then let's create a get mapping with the default slash mapping. And let's just return a basic string. So public string, uh, and we could just return a simple home, uh, hello Azure as the string. Now let's just run the project locally to make sure that our controller is working correctly and we do see hello Azure. So. This is running on the localhost 8080 port. So let's just check it and yep, we do see Hello Azure. So now that we have the project ready, let's ready to push this code to GitHub. So let's create a new repository in GitHub. Uh, we can make this a private repository or public depending on what you prefer, but private for the security and we'll create the repository. Now let's push this code onto this Git repository. So we could just copy and paste whatever the git shows we will have to provide our ssh key 
now we will see that this project is initialized with the readme now we will have to just push all of the files in so we can see all of our files we'll just commit this as an initial commit and then let's do commit and push so for some reason the code is not pushing through IntelliJ it is committing so I just have to do git push so this could be this is just an issue on my IntelliJ configuration but it should work for you so I'll just type in git push now we can go back to Safari and you will see the project here now that we have the project in GitHub we're ready to push this code create the CI CD pipeline using Azure so in order to do that, we will go to the Azure portal and then we will go to the deployment center. And then in here, you will need to authorize GitHub using your GitHub credentials. So I've already signed into GitHub, but you will do the same process. You will basically hit the GitHub and then you'll have to authorize GitHub to use uh, using your Azure. So in here, I'll select the organization, which is just my username. And then we'll have to select the repository that we want to be deployed. So in this instance, I created the repository Spring Azure Demo. So I'll just type that in and I should be able to find that. And then in here, I'll just select the main branch. So what this means is basically anytime I push any code onto the main branch, it will auto deploy that code onto Azure. So once that's done, I'll just hit save. Now this will take a few minutes to set up the deployment using GitHub Actions. Uh, you will see the build slash deploy log. So it, in here on GitHub Action, we're currently building the code. Once the code is done building, it will show the green check mark and then it will deploy the code. So once the code is deployed, we will get the URL. We could simply hit the URL. So for the first few seconds, you might still see this uh, the Azure console, but after a few refresh, it should show the correct uh, string that you've returned on your app. So now we see we are able to deploy the code. Let's make some modifications to ensure that the GitHub action pipeline is co working correctly. So I just typed in hello Azure ed edited. We're gonna commit this code. So one thing to note before we do this is we will need to pull the latest branch from Git. The reasoning is we did create or GitHub Action and Azure created a new YAML file for the Azure deployment. So we will need to pull the code before we can push any new code into it. So we could actually look at what the code that was uh, added. So if we go onto the GitHub, we can see that the Spring app demo YAML file was added by Azure. So after that code is done, we have pushed the code. We should check on Git to ensure that that code is pushed. So when we go to controller, you can see hello Azure edited one is there. So now we can check on GitHub Actions to see whether the build and deploy process is running and we can see the code is building. It's gonna take a few seconds to build the code and then the code should get deployed. And then the URL should show up. After a few refreshes, we should see the newest URL, Hello Azure Edited. So that's about it. Now you should be able to build and deploy code using GitHub Action and it should automatically get deployed to Azure Web App.